Okay, now to the most famous section of uh, this solo, which um, is actually probably the easiest part of the solo. The whole idea is uh, based around some two-handed tapping and is performed exclusively on the B string. And it's basically a series of very fast um, tapped arpeggios. I'll play the first part of it for you and then we'll break it down. Okay, starts off with a C sharp uh, minor arpeggio, which is two, five, and then tap on the ninth fret. It's up to you how you hold uh, your pick. Eddie actually puts his in his mouth and taps with uh, his first finger. You can actually either hold the pick and tap with his second finger. I tend to favor bending my first finger over for some reason and holding the pick like so. So the first arpeggio, tapping on nine, pulling off two and hammering on five. Then we get an A arpeggio, but just by simply shifting the tapping finger up to 10. Then we get a B major arpeggio, which is uh, four, seven, tapping, well actually it's a B7, it's a B dominant 7, I should say. We're playing a 4, 7 and tapping 10. And then we move up and do ta two taps on the 12. And then we get an E major arpeggio, which is 5, 9 and 12. Then we get a C major arpeggio, which is 5, 8 and tap 13. It turns into an add nine when we move up to the, uh, or a sus two, when we move up to the uh, 15th fret of the B. So it's 13, five and eight, and then 15, five, eight. Move that whole shape up with uh, the left hand up a whole time, but keep the tapping hand in the original position. So we're now playing a D major. There we get the sus uh, two arpeggio by just shifting the tapping finger up from 15 to 17. And now we finish off with an E major arpeggio, which is 9, 12, tap 17. So the whole section nice and slowly. to speed. Okay, so it takes a little bit of work with, with both hands. <clears throat> Here's the uh, first part of the, uh, of the next section. Okay, now this is a little chromatic move, which um, Eddie's tapping 17 on the B and then playing 12 and 15, and then just drops the left hand chromatically until we end up at nine and 12. So basically the left hand is playing uh, 12 and 15, all on the B string still, uh, 11 and 14, 10 and 13, and 9 and 12, but still tapping at the uh, 17th. And then we shift the shape and we play tap 15 and play 10 uh, and 13 and just shift the hand down again chromatically so that we wind up at uh, seven and um, 10, so. So the two parts together. And 
and here's this final section. which is playing taps on 13 and then play 8 and 11 on the B and move that down to 7 and 10, 6 and 9 and then finally 5 and 8. So it's exactly the same idea, just keep that static tap but just move the left hand down. So all three sections together sound like this. And then we have the last section, which um, is based around B and E minor. We play uh, four, seven, and tap 12. And then we literally just shift the tapping hand up, up a semitone. So we're playing uh, five, eight, and tap 12. So you get this. It's just simply moving between those two shapes. Finally strike the low E and um, then touch a harmonic on the 12th fret. So that's all of the sections from Eruption. It's quite involved. I would really suggest that you take your time with it um, and uh, you know enjoy playing through the parts. I'm just going to play it nice and slowly so you can hear how all of the sections uh, join together and I'll just talk through as I play them. So here's the first section. <laughs> Legato. Tremolo picking. Now we've got the unusual section. Tapping. Now the little tapping rundown. Now change position. Final position change. the final lick. And that concludes Eruption.